Welcome to the Tondor installation video. First off, I'm going to say this might not work for everyone. This is the easiest way to install the English version because that's the only one that is available in that format, but it might not work for everyone. If you want to be sure that it does work or well, have a very high chance of it working, I would advise you to just follow the instructions on how to play Tondor the Invasion Windows. But if you want the English version and you're willing to waste at max five minutes, maybe do watch this video just because I'm going to have you install the full rip version 1.05. And the reason why that is the easiest one to install is because it's just drag and drop, click the executable and you're done. It's really that simple. Over here I have a Windows File Explorer. Oh, by the way, this is also just for Windows. There is a Wine thing for Linux, but I don't know about it. Or, like, I don't know how it works. So, we've got this PC, 8GB drive, D drive, that's fine. Bear in mind, please don't install it directly on, like, your D drive or, like, E drive or whatever. Sometimes that does not work. You will want to have it inside of a folder. So, this is the one where Thunder the Invasion English full rip. And just, well, extract all, tell it where you want to install it, well, where you want to extract it. I wanted it in Tandor, backslash, Tandor the Invasion, blah, 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 blah. You can even remove this because now it will have an extra subfolder, but I don't really mind that right now. And you just click extract. It will go on, a couple of seconds. Bear in mind this is on a hard drive, so it might actually be faster for you if you're using it on an SSD. And there we go. That's all. Now you have Tondor XP, which is because I uploaded it to them as like my XP's version. That's why this one does not currently have DG Voodoo. DG Voodoo is like a DirectX wrapper because Thunder is still an old game which uses I believe DirectX 8? 7 or 8? Something like that. So you might want to have that installed. Thunder.exe over here, double click it and and before we start the game for the first time if it doesn't work for you I do advise installing DG Voodoo. I'll have a link to how DG Voodoo works in the description as well and I just hope it works. If you're going to use DG Voodoo later on, I do X. Well, it's probably best if you want to have like a 16 by 9 picture to just put it back on 1280 by 720. This is the highest resolution, 16 by 9. Apply. We'll have to. Yep, there it is. This looks a bit weird, I do think. And now just select the game. I already have the extra mission installed. This is the XP version which had that. It's a bonus mission and the English version just doesn't even have the description right. So this is a this is the description text. Just click start. This is the most likely mission to fail by the way. Here short text for first faction. You can click here. I want to be second. Wait. I want to be second faction. You can say okay, none here. That's fine. And you click next. Now, you can select the strength of your opponent. Doesn't really do anything, in my opinion. Doesn't work the best. Loading in, and now you'll think that, oh, we don't have sound. No, that's because I am currently running on an integrated GPU, which, let's just say, isn't the best. And because of that, well, the game is a little bit slow, even though it's a very old game. That's why right now I can't actually hear the mine, but in a couple of seconds it should also pop in. The only thing that doesn't work in terms of sound is the message from your commander. However, I do know for sure that if you run this in a virtual machine, a Windows XP virtual machine, then it does work. 
because that's the version I actually uploaded to them that I was using in a virtual machine. But this is Thunder running on Windows 10 in a very, very easy way. You can just say, okay, I want to have a Tritium mine because that's your second resource. And you can just play the game. Press G to speed up, Alt or Alt G to slow down. Well, the slowest is 1x speed. Here, Tritium mine complete doesn't actually say that. But anyways, this is a very easy way to get Thunder working. So if you just want to try it out, this is actually just a very easy way to get it going. But if you want to have the full experience, probably best to just install a virtual machine, install it in there. That's probably the most functional way of playing the game. And honestly, I would love to hear what other people think about the game. It wasn't well received back when it launched. But for some reason, it's just my personal favorite game. It really is. And here's second try team. Building in this game is a little bit like the old CNC games where you're only able to build. Hey, that sound also works. I'm not sure if it did a second ago. You're only able to build, build wherever you have like active vision, I guess you can say. A little bit like the Command and Conquer games where you can only place right next to it, but because this is like more freeform, you can place whatever like your buildings have vision. Or, well, building vision, I guess you could say. Only thing that is a little different in terms of building is the shipyard. Shipyard is also able to be built if you have a unit that is next to a building, and then you can place it as well. Only building that's able to do that, but that's mainly just because the shipyard is very big and it requires water, and otherwise you would never be able to place it. Not sure if I'm going to be able to show that off, because I don't think it fits over here. And, yep. The commander is saying things to me, but I can't hear it. Oh, hey! My mine is working! And so is the headquarters. So maybe the commander will actually start talking to me in a second as well. That it for some reason just has a very long startup time. I'm not sure. I just hope that you're going to enjoy this game. And if for some reason the like full rip version that they have in on the download page either is too slow for you or just doesn't work, I will have a link to my Google Drive in the description. However, of course, well, it's the Google Drive from someone you don't know. Should you trust it? No. But honestly, I mean, I can't say that you should trust me, but I trust myself. That's the only thing I can say about it. Yeah, this is normally way out of range for the Senite silo, but because there is a jeep, the shipyard is able to be placed. If I try to do that same thing with... Come on. A Senite silo. Also, I'm just going to accept the piece for now. And I want to place it over there. I can't. I just can't do that. Shipyard is the only thing that I know of that has that capability. But that's all for the easy install of Thunder. I just hope you're going to test it out. Hope it's going to be fun. And even if it's not, I would love to hear your opinions on this game. And if you do have any problems with the install, especially this way of installing it, just comment down below. That's probably the easiest way for you to get in touch with me on maybe trying to help you fix it. Because honestly, I'm not sure if I can help you, but I'll try my best. Also, last thing before I do leave, it is also possible to play this game multiplayer, but it's peer-to-peer, -peer, so I do believe your IP will be 
shared with the person who you're going to connect with. Keep that in mind if you do want to go for a network in. We don't want people to get docked now, do we? I hope that if you make it this far into the installation process, that you try it out, give it a go, and just have fun with the game. And of course, during the outro, I'm going to ask you to, well, if you're interested in either 0k or command controller casting, then you can also just subscribe to the channel because that's what I normally upload. So, RTS casting videos.